Hello everyone, I'm Kaylin North and welcome back to Spirit Island. Today we're going to be doing part six of, the, of my learning Habsburg series in which I try to learn the Habsburg adversary by taking it on with Lightning and River. Um, I'm having some regrets about this spirit combination. Uh, Lightning has a really hard time with Habsburg, but these two have gotten us through the first five levels. Let's see if they can get us through level six. Um, we've got Branch and Claw, Jagged Earth and Events turned on. Um, we're still playing on boards A and B. And let's let's get to it and see how it goes. All right, invaders start in the jungle, which is unfortunate. I don't. I think it's going to be too many resources to try and stop the blights. So I'm going to just go ahead and take the hit in A8 and A3 to try and reduce the impact of the escalation. I really don't want to do the same thing on board B though, because I don't want to take the cascade if I can help it. Um, lightning is going to start by growing. I'm going to do a bottom track build here. Try and see if I can fuel lightning entirely off of Boon of Vigor. Um, and River is going to try and rush down to save B8. So let's let's do that. Uh, add a presence there, add a presence there. River's bounty and wash away. No cards from Lightning, usual opening. All right. We get lots and lots of towns. Uh, we'll gather in from the sands, try and limit impact there. All right, and the wetlands explore, which is not too bad looking, actually. Um, I think we've got a, a decent chance of handling those. Um, so wash away. I think I'm going to try and solve B4 with that because we're not going to get rid of enough stuff to deal with the adjacencies. So let's push all of that stuff into B2. Uh, that is going to mean an adjacent town definitely exists for B1, but I think we just have to live with that. And then River's Bounty. Um, I might just let both of these wetlands blight here on, on board B. Um, and try and deal with board A instead, in which case I think I want to rescue the Dahan from B1 and B7. Also provide a little cultural assimilation insurance. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm going to let A3 blight, so I should take the Dahan out of there. Never mind. <laughs> That's going to be better, because um, otherwise they would definitely die. Uh, massive flooding, we can solve probably A5 is our best bet. Um, I'm just going to consign A8 to Oblivion and be a big source of towns, and hopefully we can get a nice massive flooding off there while it's still blighted and has a bunch of stuff in it. All right, now Lightning is going to take a G3. Um, we're going to go, let's, let's go into A5 so we have targeting range. We may or may not be able to do too much with that as time goes on, but we'll see. Um, we'll play three cards. Can't quite afford to play Raging Storm. Well, we could play Raging Storm, but then we would have to not play Shatter Homesteads, and I'd rather play Shatter Homesteads. Uh, River, I'm going to avoid B1, but I do want to get a Sacred Site in B6, so I'm going to go through the Sand. Um, and I might be concentrating my in presence a little too much here, but I, I think we'll get away with that. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if that works. Um, boon of Vigor on Lightning, Lightning's Boon on River, and then I want to Massive Flooding on land B8. So I'm going to kill the Explorer, because I don't think we're going to get any Blight in these other lands, and then I've got to push to B7 because of that Explorer in the Wetland. Um, Shatter Homesteads and Thundering Destruction, I'm pretty sure I want to destroy the towns in A3 so that we don't have adjacent towns for A2. Um, this will obviously not destroy the towns right away, but once they blight, it should destroy the towns. So that'll be good. Um, Harbingers of the Lightning, I think I want to save for later. Um, and River's Bounty, same kind of thing. I'm, I'm tempted to pull Dahan into B6 from B1 and B7 just for the cultural assimilation insurance. Yeah, actually, let me do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull in these two to Han here. And then Flash Floods B1 to, to clear that out and stop the build. So we'll get an inland town, but we'll only get one town in B1, which should be slightly more manageable. Um, and it'll come from B2, etc., etc. That'll be fine. Uh, Harbingers of the Lightning, I think, again, yeah, we are going to save that for later. There isn't really a good place to push to Han right now. Um, not yet, anyway. All right, Invested Aristocracy. After the Ravage step on each board, if no Blight was added to this board, add a town to the highest numbered land with no invaders. That's annoying. 
Um, Prey on the Heedless, we get some damage from Beast tokens, which I don't think does anything for us. Coming of Age, we add a Dahan to a land with two or more Dahan. All right. Well, um, yep, that doesn't do anything, and we get some more Dahan at least. So we get Dahan in seven, and then... Oh, let's put let's put an extra one in B5, because then we've got a nice big army for, for dealing with them. Uh, Ravage in three. Ravage up there. We take a Lost Condition Blight, but we should be okay for the time being. Um, I kind of want to pull out of... I want to pull out of the jungle here, because the mountains are going to be scary anyway, even if we pull a town out. So let's do that. Um, we got coastal land, so no escalation this turn, which is a mixed thing. Um, hmm. All right. So now in this case, uh, right now we're going to be dealing lots and lots of damage in these lands. Neither of them is going to lose condition blight. We want to get that town out of a five somehow. We probably just need to let a two blight. Which is unfortunate because I don't think we have a good a good solution for that. Um, but coastal lands, coastal lands are ravaging or bl not ravaging, but uh, building. Um, I think I think I'm gonna just harbingers uh, two to Han, probably from a seven into a five. So worst case scenario, we can just take the Blight there. I don't like that, but I'd rather have the Dahan there ready to deal with the counterattack beforehand. Um, oh, that's a terrible idea, actually, because we have adjacent towns, so they're going to deal four damage. Um, my goodness, I this Habsburg 6 rule is really throwing me off. Um... Yeah, same kind of thing here, where we're going we're gonna to lose a bunch of those Dahan, probably. Um, let's push, let's push Dahan, um, oh goodness, now I'm just utterly blanking on what to do here. There's going to be adjacent towns for all of these ravages on board B, no matter what we do, and there's probably going to be adjacent towns for the ravages on board A. Um, I'd love to push this Dahan out of A2, but I don't think that's going to be feasible. Um, so Harbingers... Let's, let's load up the coasts a little bit. Um, no, no, that's, that's not right. Maybe, maybe from here. Let's, put, let's push two from this sand into this coast. And, or one from that sand into the coast and one into this jungle here just so we get the fear because I think we're going to need the fear alright, River's going to reclaim, take a miner um, Bird's Cry Warning, kind of useful fast Dahan push and potentially Dahan protection um, so that would actually do a nice job of handling this land here um, Skies Herald the Season of Return I don't know that that's... I guess pushing the Blight could be really useful. And adding Destroyed Presence could be really useful if we're about to start taking some Destroyed Presence. Call to Migrate, not too interesting. I think we've got... I'd rather have something like Bird's Cry Warning. And then Call to Bloodshed. I suppose we could speed up with Lightning's Boon. And that would be... That could potentially help with some of these lands. Um... I think we still lose a lot of stuff there. I think I think Birds Cry Warning is 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 my take here. There's nothing with good elements really. So I and they all cost one. I think I think I'm gonna take Birds Cry Warning and see what happens. Um Lightning is gonna reclaim. We will gain a miner. See what we get. Um Quicken the Earth struggles. Uh we don't really have a good sacred site for it. Disorienting landscape. Gift of Constancy is always nice um, if we don't have anything else to do. Um, set them on an ever-twisting trail. The Isolate could actually be pretty useful for taking out um, 
or stopping the adjacency damage. But I don't know that that's going to be quite enough. I I think I, I think I just take Gift of Constancy here and and be happy with Gift of Constancy because it's a good card. Um, and then we play out Lightning's Hand. Oops. Um. Then, uh, River is going to. Uh, we probably want to set up a tier two massive flooding to try and deal with land with this bad land here. Um, so let's play Boon of Vigor for sure. Um, wash away, and then River's Bounty or Flash Floods. I think we want... Um, I think we want River's Bounty a little bit more. Uh, we can use that potentially to... Oh, we could just set up a huge number of Dahan in here, actually, and then just take the take the Ravage and deal with the counterattack. We'd lose three Dahan to the Ravage, which would be kind of terrible. But we'd also get a Blight on the board, which helps with the Escalations. It's not a loss condition Blight because it's only seven damage. Eh, let's try that. Why not? And then the land will clear. Um. So yeah, let's give this let's give this a shot. Uh, Gift of Constancy on River, Boon of Vigor on Lightning, Lightning's Boon on River. Um, let's see, we did play Raging Storm. Uh, that's that's a thing that happened. So we might want to take out like the city in land in B two with Thundering Destruction. Um, Raging Storm is probably going to go A three because that's already got a blight in it. And it will gather a town in, but that's fine, because it's blighted, and so we can destroy a town when it gathers. Um, it'd be great to do something in A2, but we just don't have the range for it. So let's have River go ahead and pull in those Dahan and do a sacrificial play there. Um, massive flooding. You know what? I think River might be happy to massive. Fl oh, we wanted to do something about this this town over here. That's right, because I don't want to lose that spot if I can help it. Maybe massive flooding just to handle that land, and then wash away gets used in the slow. Um, Otherwise, we could wash away that town. Yeah, let's let's ma let's use the massive flooding here, because then that kills the town, gets us a fear, which is nice. And then board A is just looking a lot better in some ways, um, because we only take one blight in A two, and it's not lost condition, and we don't have towns gathering in or causing bonus damage, which is nice. Um, at least right away. <laughs> So then uh, Raging Storm will go ahead and I think take out A3. Um, Harbingers of the Lightning, I think we want to save for the slow again. Thundering Destruction, I do really kind of want to take out B2, uh, the city that's there, uh, rather than focusing on towns, because we have Shatter Homesteads to deal with whatever town gets pulled into A3. And I don't really think there's too much else that's worth doing with Thundering Destruction this turn. So I'm gonna, well, I could just save it all for the slow. Um, yeah, let's, let's save this all for the slow. I think, I don't think anything's gonna change between, or right away that, that is not gonna, that we can't just save it and do it better then. So let's finish using powers. Uh, pull together an adversity for the rest of this turn. Ignore a strife on each invader. That doesn't do anything. Explorers blunder. We get to destroy some explorers among the lands with beasts. That's actually really good. Uh, careful defense. That's great. Uh, that'll save a Dahan, I think, in uh, in our wetland over there. Um, uh, not quite enough to save this wetland. So that takes a blight still. Uh, that's still going to take a loss condition blight. And we flip the blight card. Oh, it's still healthy. Invaders find the land to their liking. Um, it's terror level one, so suddenly we now have... Oh, we need... Oh, we got England six energy. We've got an extra fear per player. Um, 
But we've got lots of blight to work with, which is good. All right, invaders explore in the mountains and escalate. Um, so let's stick that town over there. And let's stick this town way over. Uh, these are all these are all going to be adjacent to this mountain, unfortunately. Um, well, let's stick it there for now. All right. Um, all right. Now it's decision time. So uh, I was going to shatter homesteads here to just take out that town and make this board a little bit less terrible. But I'm not 100% sure about that anymore um, because we do also have... I, I forgot about them building an A2, which was a mistake on my part, but we'll see what we can do with that. Um, B1 is actually going to be our city target because that's terrifying. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and Thundering Destruction there, take out the city. Uh, Shatter Homesteads, I think we've got to do it here. And Harbingers of the Lightning, I think I kind of want to push this Dahan into A, this Dahan from A6 into A1, just because, oh well, there's still a town in A2. Ugh, ugh, that bonus damage, so painful. Um, let's see, we can still afford to take one more loss condition blight. Um, I think I want to, I kind of want to shove the stuff from B7 into like B6 maybe, um, with wash away just to try and stop that double town build in B7. I think that's going to be the most useful thing to do here. Um, I might actually shove the explorer into B5 to go with the beast token, uh, but we will put the town in here where it will be relatively harmless. I mean, we already have too many towns in B2, which is going to, I'm sure, going to be our second loss condition blight. Um, and we have... I, I want to do something about B1. I think lightning is probably going to destroy that town fast. Um, and then we'll do something about the explorer. Because I don't want that to blight if I can help it. So Harbinger's over here. Um, we can maybe take out the town in A2, uh, in which case they won't get the bonus damage in A1, which I think would be really useful. So let's reclaim a card. Um, I'm going to take back Boon of Vigor, I think. Uh, yeah, Boon of Vigor, because we definitely want that one back. And then for Lightning, I don't think it matters because we're going to reclaim on Lightning anyway, so let's just take Gift of Constancy. All right, Lightning reclaims. We've got seven energy. I think I'm going to go for a major here. We're actually going to have eight energy uh, in a minute. Um, just replace Raging Storm because Raging Storm is not doing as much right now. Um, yeah, I think, I think we got to do that. And hope for something good. All right. We got some interesting options. Uh, unleash a torrent of the self-sown essence. Uh, we're probably going to be able to threshold that, actually. So we can gain energy, for bit of, forget a power card to gain more energy, and deal a bunch of damage. Um, be really nice if uh, that didn't have a bunch of bonus health. Um, that's still very tempting. Um, invaders skip all actions in target land. That's nice. Uh, we get to remove some explorers. Uh, we won't be thresholding that this game, probably. Uh, but that could be kind of nifty for uh, something like skipping the Ravage in B2 or B3. Or heck, even A2. Um, grant Hatred a Ravenous Form. Uh, that's not too appealing here. Um, the land thrashers and furious pain, I think, is more appealing, where we can speed that up and deal a bunch of damage based on adjacency blight. Um, we are, we don't have any strife powers, so well, is that actually true? Uh, grant hatred, grant hatred would be a little more fear, but less less overall damage. I think I think we want land thrashers and furious pain for that. Unleash a torrent of the self sown essence is really tempting, 
but I just don't think Lightning has presence in the right places for it, and I don't want to spend like five energy just to deal with B3. Um, I'd rather take land thrashes and like clear out something big with it, uh, like A2, for example, because that would be four, five, or one, two, three, four damage there, which is not a ton, but it at least would clear the town and the explorers, which is good for stopping solving A1 in turn. So let's take Land Thrashes and Furious Pain. We'll forget Raging Storm. Uh, play five cards. And let's go for River. Um, what do we want to do this turn? We can get River up to five card plays. We can go to two energy, four card plays. we got so much energy, though. We don't need to do that. So let's go up to five card plays. Um, we'll probably just save the Dahan in B3 and take the hit there and then figure out some way to try and get Lightning more presence for its sacred sites in the near future. But I don't know how that how well that's going to work. Um, so let's let's go ahead and just grow from presence or grow, grow from our pre, our plays track. Um, let's get. Let's get a little closer to to A2. Um, let's go into A4, I think, for that. And then let's get our Sacred Site reestablished down here in B6. Um, so we can reach... Uh, do we want to do it in B1 instead, maybe? Um, are we going to solve B1 is the question, I guess. I think we want B1. I think we want B1 here. Uh, we'll find we'll find a way to solve it. So let's take wash away back. Um, I think I want that because I'm gonna need some control powers here. And we will get a level two massive flooding and a wash away at fast speed. So that's great. Um, Gift of constancy. Do we actually want to use that on river or do we want to use that on lightning this turn? Um, we could probably just use that on lightning because river is gonna reclaim anyway uh, and has a decent energy income right now. And if we give it to Lightning, then we can keep funding our Majors a little bit better. Uh, I mean, we're going to start with Boon of Vigor, of course. Um, give Lightning plenty of energy to work with. Um, uh, let's let's give to Constancy River. I think I think River could. I, I don't want River to run out of energy at any point, um, and I'm just slightly nervous about it. So, uh, Lightning's Boon on River, we have, we have the ability to do a bunch of things here, it's which things actually matter though. So I'm going to, I think, I think we can actually land Thrashes and Shatter Homesteads both in A2 to stop all the Blight that's coming in there. Because I don't really want to Cascade if I can help it. So let's, let's do that, let's take out the town. Land Thrashes and Furious Pain, take out the city and one explorer. Um, Thundering Destruction and Harbingers, uh, we only get one of them fast this turn. I think we want Thundering Destruction fast. Um, let's see. We can... Let's see, we can we can save some Dahan in B3 with Bird's Cry Warning, and we'll lose presence, but it won't be the end of the world. It does mean that our Thundering Destruction gets a lot weaker on Lightning, though, until or unless we can place some more presence. Um, which is fine. We will we will deal with that. Um, flash floods. Uh, if there's only one somewhere we could do slightly more damage. I think I think we're gonna wash away B one. Um, so wash away B one. Let's throw those guys into B two, which is already a gigantic mess, but about to blight, and about to build actually. But that's that's okay, I think. Um, Birds cry warning. We want to deal with B three. So protect two to Han. And then Thundering Destruction, I think we take out the city in B2 proactively because they're going to get another city there momentarily, and we just, we got to do something about that uh, when the mountains build. So, well, Thundering Destruction here, take out a city, 
Uh, massive flooding and flash floods still. Um, we could massive flooding actually and just take out a bunch of stuff in B2. And then if I don't wash away, then we don't take the loss condition blight. Uh, I don't, I don't like it though. I think I'm gonna flash floods in A6, stop a, ta stop a town build. Um, and then I just need to decide on massive flooding. Let's, let's, um, let's deal with A7. Um, let's just ping the town and then push it onto the blight. Because I think that's going to be better than anything we can do over on board B. I, I guess we could like take out land 6. Uh, I don't think that matters though, because we're going to just pull the town from 8 instead. So let's, let's take out the town in 7, push it onto the blight, see what happens. No bravery without numbers. Invaders do not ravage in lands unless there are more invaders than the current terror level. That's... I don't think that does anything. Uh, prey on the Heedless is nice. Because um, terror level is 1, and so all the lands that are ravaging... Oh, actually, that means that land 1 doesn't clear. But that's fine, because it's dying anyway to the, to the beast event. So, let's deal some damage to some explorers. All right, leave the hostile land. We're going to have Dahan move out of lands with Badlands and Disease. I don't think there are any. All right, then we get a Fear card. Scapegoats. All right, that's going to destroy a bunch of stuff. Destroy some explorers. That's great. All right, Ravaging the Coastal Lands. This one should do nothing. Uh, this one... Actually, if we sequence this now... So this one goes first, and... Wait. Oh, they don't ravage because, oh, because we scapegoats got rid of the explore or the uh, means no bravery without numbers. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, we will we will do what we can. Uh, wave of immigration is coming. Uh, so let's let's see. Wave of immigration is coming right now. So let's go ahead and add a town to Sands Explored. All right. Let's add a town to eight. And a town to, I guess, there. Um, choose for me. Let's see here. We're going to add a city. I don't want to add a city to the mountain land. Um, let's put it in the jungle there. And then over here, let's put the city in the wetland. All right. They're built up. This is going to be a problem, but we, we should hopefully be able to work through it. Okay, so Mountain Ravage is coming up. Um, let's see here. Um, where do we have Dahan? Where do we need Dahan? Um, I'm hoping River will clear B2 with massive flooding next turn. Um, and then maybe wash away on B7? Or, or possibly A6? Um, Harbingers of the Lightning... Let's get another Dahan into A7. I think that's going to be the most useful thing we can do with that. Uh, there isn't. I just don't. I just don't see anything else that's really useful right now. Um, reclaim something. Doesn't matter what. We're going to reclaim all our cards anyway, because um, we need Lightning's Boon and everything. So reclaim cards. Take a minor river. Um, we could potentially have actually taken a major, but that's fine. Uh, reaching Grasp could actually be kind of useful because Lightning is. Well, no, Lightning kept its sacred site, so maybe that's not so useful. Uh, Call of the Dahan Ways is always nifty. Get some more Dahan. Uh, Dire Metamorphosis is a really cool power, but I don't know that it's going to do what we want, although it will add more Blight, for better or worse. Um, hmm. Dire Metamorphosis is actually more tempting than I thought because of that, adding Blight. Um... So a fear, a damage, a damage to Dahan, and then we get all the tokens. So that would mean being able to take out some towns more easily. Um, yeah, I think I think let's take Dire Metamorphosis and see see what we can do with it. I, Call of the Dahan ways is my my close second there. Reaching Grasp obviously has our elements, but like whatever. It's it's not going to be too useful, I don't think, at this point. Um, 
I could be wrong on that, but let's let's do Dire Metamorphosis. Um, Lightning, let's go ahead and reclaim, gain a minor. I don't think we want to gain another major. I mean, we could we could mulligan on Land Thrashers and Furious Pain, but Land Thrashers and Furious Pain actually will do some work, um, especially if we take some more Blight, <laughs> which we are likely to do. Uh, so let's take a minor. Um, oh, Scour the Land. That's great. That, that's that got to be our pick. Um, that's just going to be anti-Habsburg. Um, Scream Disease into the Wind is cool. Mesmerize Tranquility is cool. Renewing Rain is kind of not ideal here. De Blight removal isn't our, what we want. I, but Scour the Land is just so good against Habsburg. We got to take that. Um, we, will, we will be playing that and Gift of Constancy. Lightning's Boon... Um, do we want chat? Do we want land thrashes and furious pain this turn? Um, we could deal some damage in B two, but I think we're gonna wipe B two anyway. Uh, land thrashes is not actually that useful this turn, so let's 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 keep it in hand and just play everything else. Um, and then river. I don't think birds cry warning does anything for us on the mountain ravage because we don't have Dahan placed for it. So let's play everything else. Um, let's see how that goes. So finish playing cards. Um, Boon of Vigor on Lightning as usual. Uh, Gift of Constancy on River since we're needing to fuel them a little bit more. Uh, Scour the Land. I want to target B7 most likely. The question is, do I want to shove anything else in there first? Um, I could target somewhere else potentially... Um, but I kind of, I kind of think I want to set up a wash away or something before I do that. So let's Lightning's Boon River. Um, yeah, I can't really, there isn't really a productive wash away I can do with B2. I can get one Explorer in, but I'd rather, I'd rather deal with the problem land that is B5. So let's go ahead and shove those into the mountain. Uh, scour the land. And then, um, let's see, we probably just take the Blight in A6. It's only, it's only six damage, so that's not the end of the world. Um, massive Flooding here, plus Flash Floods to take out the city. And now the mountains are clear on board B. Uh, Thundering Destruction... And Shatter Homestead. So Thunder Destruction is only a town this turn. Uh, we should get everything fast, though, so that's fun. Um, I could I could Thunder Destruction one of the towns in A6, but I don't know that that really does anything for us. Um, but... Or Shatter Homestead's A6. We can't take out both of them, unfortunately. I think I think we might save that, or or no, we, we should snipe the town in B six for sure uh, to stop the adjacency pulling into B five. Um, or we could double hit B A seven to stop the double town build. That might be better actually, because then it's effectively stopping two towns instead of just one town. Um, so yeah, let's let's do that. It feels feels bad, but we get we get a little bit of extra reach because of it. Um, Harbingers of the Lightning isn't there isn't really a spot that's great for that. Um, not right now anyway. So let's save that for the slow. Finish using powers. Rising interest in the island. All right. Um, I think I think we can't actually take that. Uh, we have to ignore their curiosity because otherwise we just lose in that mountain. We take our, our third loss condition blight. Because um, it's at two, four, six from the adjacency and then plus one would be from weave lies. So we have to ignore curiosity, which is unfortunate. Uh, it means we get a stage three card. Um, and we add a town on each board to a land without one. Um, let's put that there where it's irrelevant, hopefully, and there where it's irrelevant, hopefully. 
Um, Beasts of the Jungle. I only get one of those. Traps and Snares. Um, what are we worried about exploring? I don't, I don't want double explorers in this sand if I can help it. And I don't want double explorers in this sand if I can help it. So let's do that. Uh, skip the lowest numbered land matching the invader card. Okay, that's helpful. And then each player chooses a different land with the Han and each one damage per, or one damage, not one damage per Dahan. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, we can at least clear a couple of sands. So, and now we've got Wilds tokens in them, which is nice. Um, sands build and we'll gather, let's gather this town and this town. And then this sand gathers, oh, I don't want to gather either of those towns. I guess we gather that town. And then jungles and sands explore. All right, um, so we've got Dire Metamorphosis, which will flip us into our actual Blight card. Um, where do we want to use that? Probably A7, um, solve that land nicely. And then, yeah, because we can't reach B8 would be the other place that it might be good. So let's Dire Metamorphosis here. And we Blight, Disintegrating Ecosystem. Oh, that's no good. Um, choose for me. Let's, let's lose the Beast token we just spawned there. And let's add a Blight to somewhere that's gonna Cascade. Um, let's Cascade in A6, because it's not coming up again right away. Um, and then down here, uh, I guess we'll take it in B8. Oh, we lose a beast first. So let's lose the beast in the jungle and then add a blight there. That's fine. We've got lots and lots of blight on the island now. So that should be helpful for destroying things. Um, Harbingers of the Lightning and River's Bounty. What do we want to do with those? Um... So sands are about to ravage. Let's let's pull in some Dahan to B5, because uh, that could be useful here in a minute. And let's Harbingers of the Lightning some Dahan into A4, I think. Um, I think that's our, our best bet here. Um, Let's let's harbingers these these guys just so we have something to do with a defend card or something if we can pull it. Um, let's grab a boon of vigor. Let's reclaim. Uh, do I want to do I want to try and take a downturn with lightning? I don't think I do. I think I want to just keep trying to hammer them in the sands and everything. So let's. It doesn't matter too much what we reclaim. We'll take gift of constancy. Um, and then lightning will, or river, does river need to reclaim? Uh, we could potentially play like four cards in place of presence, but we don't really need the energy. So let's reclaim, let's reclaim. Uh, gain a miner, see what we get. Um, river's hand is expensive enough that I don't think I want to go for a major over there. Um, sky stretches to shore, kind of nifty, good elements, but we have lightning in the game, so it's really not as good as usual. Flesh Rot Fever might be really good. Um, try and stop some builds. Seer Anger into the Wildlands. We could... We could do something with that, potentially. Delusions of Danger, I don't think is going to do much. Um, uh, I'm tempted to take Sky Stretches to Shore just to like ease up the Lightning's Boon pressure a little bit. But I don't think that's actually a good idea. So I think let's take Flesh Rot Fever. Because it has water, at least, and the disease could be really handy. Um, lightning, let's go ahead and reclaim. Uh, gaining. Oh, I think we want to gain a new major here. Scour the land. There's not enough lands that are not blighted and aren't full of our presence to actually use it right now. So it did its work. That's fine. Let's gain a major. 
Um, oh, Blazing Renewal. Uh, do we even have any Destroyed Presence? River has one. Uh, so that's nifty. nifty. Um, that could that could potentially be nice for wiping out a bunch of towns somewhere. Um, fire and Flood, Smothering Infestation. Fire and Flood. That's too expensive. And unlo Unlock the Gates of Deepest Power I don't want to go for right now because I'm worried about time. We're just getting into Stage 3 and that's going to be problematic. Smothering Infestation isn't going to do anything on Lightning. So yeah, yeah we'll take Blazing Renewal um, and forget uh, Scour the Land. So then let's play five cards. I think I want Gift of Constancy anyway. Um, well, maybe not. Let's let's play our cheap ones. If we f land thrashes, land thrashes could clear some stuff pretty easily. Um, yeah, let's let's do it this way, and then blazing renewal we have as as a, an out for a future turn. Um, for river, let's see. We wanna we wanna solve B five proactively. We wanna just clear invaders right now, honestly. So let's try and do something. Can we actually clear B eight? Not quite. There's not enough blight around. Um, river. Can we clear A eight? Uh, also no. Not with not with uh, land thrashes at least. Hmm. Well, I think River is going to set up a big massive flooding somewhere. Um, we'll try and wash a bunch of guys into one land and take them out. Probably a sit, clear clear these two inner lands, and then do something about this land. Um, or maybe we should wash from A two into that land. Uh, well, let's let's start by let's start by playing our our main hand. And then I think Flesh Rot Fever is going to be more useful than either of the others right now. Because we don't want to set up a giant cascade with Dire Metamorphosis. And Bird's Cry Warning isn't going to do quite enough. So let's try that out. Um, I'm, I'm sort of just making this up as I go. Um, Gift of Constancy. Let's Gift of Constancy on River again. Um, Lightning's Boon on River. I think I think because it's got the range, we want to land thrashes in B eight. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's something else we want to do with something here. Let's let's wash away because we want to deal with the sands for sure. Um. Okay, you know what? Um, we can take out the towns adjacent to B5, and then B5 clears cleanly in the Ravage. So we just need to... So let's Shatter Homesteads here, Thundering Destruction here, and then Land Thrashes in B1. And then this land just clears, and that's gorgeous. Um, for River... I think we need to deal with this sand primarily, so let's wash away from A2 into here, um, and then massive flooding it. And then we still have flash floods, which I guess is going to stop a build in B4, because um, there isn't really another place to use it. And we, we go to the event. And hope that we don't lose horribly as a result of something we that I over that I missed. Uh, devastated shores on each board with invaders add a blight to a coastal land. You might prevent this by destroying two from each board to be protected. Yeah, we're definitely destroying presence for that because um, coastal lands are just big cascades right now. So let's let's add it there, but we'll actually destroy two presence. Um, lightning lightning is going to clear. A, Get, get get off of this board. We'll keep River's presence. Um, on this board, 
yeah, the cascade is also really bad. So we destroy two presents instead. Um, let's take out rivers excess presence. I hate to think of it as excess, but like I, I don't know what how else to describe it right now. Um, distant hunt. Each beast goes to land with no blight. Oh, those don't really exist. Um, so that's too bad. Um, canny defense. All right, we get a little bit of defense. Um, I don't think that makes any difference, which is fine. So skip all explore actions and lands with at least two to Han. That's great. Ravage in the sands. So this one clears and that one clears. They build in the jungles and sands, so they build in the jungles. That's nasty, but we can deal with it. And mountains and wetlands explore. All right, how close are we to Terror 2? Um, oh, wrong button. Okay, we're very close to Terror 2. So we just really need to wipe out these towns and take out that last city, uh, which we can do um, somehow. Let's see here. Um, we are going to have Blazing Renewal next turn, so we probably want to use that on B8. Um, we're probably going to Massive Flooding in A8, and then hopefully clear the last couple of buildings somehow um, with Lightning or River or some combo thereof. So... Um, with the jungles and sands about to ravage, the sands are all fine. We're clearing those two. We should probably put some Dahan into this jungle. Um, so I'm going to have lightning harbingers into there from this sand, just because that might give us a little more utility, a little more possibility of changing things around. Um, flesh rot fever the mountains and wetlands are building so it doesn't really matter too much where we put the disease um, I guess I'll I guess I'll throw it into this land because that land is is a mess and then we will pull some to Han um, let's rivers bounty into here taking in those to Han all right so we get to reclaim a card um, we are going to just reclaim overall as river, though. We might not as lightning. No, we will as lightning. We will we'll definitely reclaim everything. So, um, I don't know. I guess take lightning's boon just in case I change my mind in a moment, but I don't think that's likely. Uh, so river, yeah, river's got to do a max massive flooding this turn, so we need to reclaim. Um, we do have so much energy now, though, that I am going to, in fact, take a major, uh, just in case we get something that makes things easier. Uh, melt Earth into Quicksand, that's kind of cool. Uh, sands and Wetlands aren't really big targets right now, though. Draw towards a Consuming Void, I don't think we're going to have the energy for. Sea Monsters is great. Um, we could not hit A3 with it, though, because that's not going to work. Okay, so Utter a Curse of Dread and Bone, I guess? Um. Yeah, utter a curse of dread and bone. That'll that'll do. That'll do work at least. Um. So let's let's try that out uh, and see what happens. Um, because I don't think we can get anything else working here. I'd love to make sea monsters work, but there just isn't a good enough target for it right now that we can actually hit with River, and River doesn't have presence near A3. So let's take Utter a Curse. Um, we'll forget Dire Metamorphosis, even though that's our only moon, because it's not going to be useful. Uh, reclaim with Lightning. Um, I guess take a Miner, see if we get something zero cost that might help us. Promises of Protection, maybe? Um... Which of these is actually going to be useful, if anything? I don't I don't know that any of these are going to be useful right now. So let's take Promises of Protection because it costs zero. And, um... Yeah, because Bat Scout for Raids by Darkness would be nice, but not going to do enough, I think. Um, yep, Promises of Protection. So we will play... I want to play Blazing Renewal to solve A8, or B8... Um, I think I want Land Thrashes and Furious Pain for A3. And then we can play three more cards. Um, Lightning's Boon we need. And then we got to play a couple of zero costs. So let's, let's do it that way. Um, River gets to play Wash Away, Flash Floods, Boon of Vigor, River's Bounty, and I guess Utter a Curse of Dread and Bone. So... 
if I'm not mistaken, this should clear everything and generate enough fear. Because there's more than seven towns left on the board. So hopefully we just win here. Um, Lightning's Boon on River. Um, Gift of Constancy on River. Uh, we do get Thunder and Destruction. That's kind of handy, potentially. Uh, except there's, well, there's only like one town that can really be hit by it. All right, so Blazing Renewal on River. Uh, we're going to add Presence to this land, clear all the towns. Um, River is going to wash away these folk into here, and then massive flooding to clear it. And then I believe if I did my math right, Land Thrashers and Furious Pain should just win us the game when we hit A3. There we go. Victory. No buildings left on the island. All right, we took out Hab 6. Um, it was a bit messy. We took a couple of Lost Condition Blights, but we got there. And uh, yeah, I think, I think that was a, a fun build on Lightning to try and go for just the pure Boon of Vigor powered machine gun kind of build um 67 points uh, turn seven yeah that was messy but good I, I i think that worked out reasonably well all right well thank you all for watching um i hope to not have to play lightning into habsburg six too many more times i'm probably going to try it again at some point but this was a lot of fun doing this, and I hope that you guys got something out of watching me try to learn Habsburg. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. As usual, if you have comments, you know, let me know in the comments below or join me on Discord. Thanks for watching.